restaurant tonight. Because we wanted to do something special. Because it's my birthday this weekend. That's right. Plus, all the dishes are dirty at home. <laughs> all right, boys, why don't you go get us some uh, tortilla chips? Hey, and don't change the hot and mild signs on the salsa bar. I already did it. <laughs> How'd the job hunt go? Awful. And I better find one soon, because our insurance runs out next week. I mean, well, don't worry about that. I mean, I'll just take my paycheck from my security job, and we'll pay for insurance on our own. Then I can finally send the boys out to the shed and knock down that wash nest. You guys ready to order? Yeah. Um, I'll have the uh, whole lot of tostada, and then the boys will each have a um, super neato chicken burrito. Oh, and one side of unholy guacamole. And I'll have the uh, half order of the whole enchilada. Um, are birthday meals still free? Yeah. Whose birthday is it? Those two. Both of them. Yeah, they're twins. Yeah. Uh, little Bo was in a uh, incubator for 12 weeks, struggling while Jack was double timing it on the breastfeeding. Okay, whatever. Um, and uh, this coupon is good for one complimentary dinner, and then this wooden peso. This is good for one free margarita, <laughs> which we'll split. Yeah. And I'm assuming that members of uh, law enforcement eat for free. You're a security guard. And you're a waitress. Both our jobs suck. Let's stick it to the man. I'll be right back with your order and your change. Mom, after dinner, can we go to the video store to rent games for my party? Uh, video games, let's see. Here comes a coupon accordion. <laughs> Happy birthday, my little muchachos. Here's your birthday, now have some free nachos. You think they got a CD for sale in the lobby? I can't believe we found Alien Overdrive. What's that game about, anyway? It's uh, two armies who face off in this intergalactic battle of, um... It's pretty much checkers with guns and hookers. Uh, I'm sure you share it with your little brother. What'd you say? I'll take that. Why is there stuff all over? We've been robbed. Stay there, I'll make sure the house is safe. Hey, they took our TV! I'm scared. It's okay, boys. Always clear. <laughs> Bedroom's clear. Rodney! I'm fine. Those jackasses that robbed us broke our mirror. This sucks. First I get laid off and now we get robbed. When is life gonna get easier? Well, at least we still have each other. I'll save it for the kids. <laughs> I have completed my initial investigation and secured the premises. I can now report exactly what happened. What happened, Gerald Bob? Well, your family was innocently dining at one of our local eateries. Someone unknown broke into your domicile and robbed you. We knew that before you got here. Well, now it's official. So as far as you can tell, the only stolen property is the TV? Yes. All righty. Well, before we wrap this up, I just need to clarify a few things with you. You're probably wondering why I'm wearing weights around my wrists and ankles. Because they won't let you wear earrings with the uniform? I was addressing the lady. I'm training for the amateur boxing challenge this weekend. I get into the ring with a professional boxer, and if I can stay on my feet for three minutes, I win $500. <laughs> okay. Gerald, Bob, can we speed this along, or do you have a ballet recital we need to know about? Here's a flyer if you want to come down and cheer me up. Okay. And here's what our TV looks like if you want to go out and do your job. <laughs> if I get any leads, I'll let you know. 
But I gotta be frank here. The odds of you getting that TV back are mighty slim. Found the TV. <laughs> Where'd you find it? It was on the ground by the back gate. Damn you, Barry Martin! Now this whole investigation is tainted! <laughs> You know when you're scared, you're even more beautiful? Actually, I'm more creeped out than scared. Well, you were at will. So what, they stole our TV and then they changed their minds? Well, maybe they found a nicer one laying in the alley. TV's back? Great, I've been so bored. Well, it looks like your sound's working, but your picture's gone. Well, the good news is we don't have cable, so we're not missing as many channels. What about my party? How are we supposed to play video games? Well, don't worry, buddy. We'll get it fixed. Now, if your picture's too broken, it's cheaper to get a new one. Well, then that's what we'll do. Well, honey, we can't afford to buy a new TV right now. Trina, we're getting a new TV. It's a hell of a lot cheaper than going out and doing stuff and seeing things. <laughs> Nope, we're getting the cheapest one they got, we're getting it on credit, and then we're getting out of here. Hey, let's get this one. It'll double the value of our home. <laughs> Come on, Rodney. Hey, Jack. Hey, Brad. What you doing? Getting a new TV. Plasma? Probably. How about this one? This is cute. We can afford it. <laughs> Good one. My aunt and uncle are so lame. See ya. Who's that? Just some kid from school. Hmm. How you folks doing? I'm Jason. Can I help you find something? Uh, yeah, we'd like to buy this TV right here. And we'd like to finance it, because there's no payments for two years, right? Please, step into my office. Name? Uh, Rodney and Trina Hamilton. Place of employment? Second alert security. And how long have you worked there? Uh, um, one week. One week? We can come back tomorrow if that's not long enough. <laughs> uh, he's worked for B. Martin Construction for the last year. Uh, Barry pays me under the table. But now that job has ended. <laughs> Any other means of not making money? Um, I worked for the Central Bank of Greater Tulsa for the last eight years. Worked? Yeah, well, um, I mean, I recently got laid off. But that wasn't because of my skills. That was because the bank got bought out. Of course it did. Yeah. Unemployed. Denied? Wow, I was really rooting for you guys. Have a nice day. Well, well, uh, well uh, your sign, I mean, it says that you give credit to anyone. Dad, what's going on? Uh, we're just figuring stuff out, buddy. Listen, is there anything else that we can do? I mean, he's got a birthday party this weekend. Well, well you better hurry if you want to get your cake out of layaway. <laughs> Come on, Dad, let's just go. Attention shoppers, let's please congratulate Jason in electronics on his third week of being herpes free. <laughs> oh, Jack, you're home. Check this out. What is it? Your Aunt Charlie, she brought over her old TV. The sound doesn't work on this, but the picture works on this one, the sound works on this one. <laughs> the best part about it is it comes with a universal remote. Bo, channel seven. No batteries. Runs on grilled cheese and grape juice. Thanks, Dad. Oh, come on. I know it's not like having a new TV, but at least you'll be able to play your video games at your party. Yeah. I don't know. What are you talking about? What's the matter with you? Remember that kid Brad from the TV store? Yeah. Told everybody at school that we're poor. What? Why do you say that? I don't know. He's just a jerk. Oh, buddy. Well, people like that aren't your friends. I mean, your real friends, they care about who you are, not about what you have. And they'll be here this weekend. Dad, thanks for trying, but I don't think I'm going to have the party. What are you talking about? It's your birthday party. Yeah. I'm going to go do my homework. Bo, power off. <laughs> Turn up. We need to get a new TV. I think what we ought to do is use the money that we've been saving for health insurance to buy one. Oh, what a great idea. And while you're at it, why don't you sell our wedding band so we can get that go-kart you always wanted? <laughs> Look, I'm serious. 
Jack doesn't want to have his party. Why not? He's embarrassed. The kids at school are making fun of him. Oh, God. This is all my fault. I should have never quit my job at the fiberglass plant a year ago. At least I'd have money and a way to buy a new TV. No, this is not your fault. We were robbed. Besides, kids need to learn they can't always get everything that they want. Look, this is something that he needs. Oh, he needs a TV. Yes! More than he needs health insurance? Way more. All right, look, just because Jack is getting teased at school does not mean that we don't need health insurance. Huh? I'm getting in the TV. Not with our insurance money, you're not. You know, half that money's mine. Well, you're not getting it! Yeah, well, at least I'm getting the last word. No, you're not! <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> No, you're not. <laughs>I guess it's like when some fat people get together with, like, potato sacks. And Not that, that. <laughs> Rodney. Barry. <laughs> well, what are you supposed to be, Gerald Bob? The coal miner's other daughter? <laughs> I'm training for my boxing challenge. Well, is part of that challenge not laughing at you? <laughs> well, when I win that $500 purse, we'll see who's laughing. <laughs> Damn, I swallowed another moth. It must be attracted to the sweet smell of my musky pheromones. Well, bicycle. Well, the headlight's on, but nobody's home. I think I just figured out a way I'm gonna get that new TV. Coconut, coconut. Ah, well, thank Bear. I look like a real boxer. Not a real scary one. Rodney, are you sure about this boxing thing? Look, I gotta do this for Jack. It's something that he needs. It's important. All right. If you're gonna go through with this, I can help you. How can you help me? Well, does the term Golden Gloves champion mean anything to you? You, you were a Golden Gloves champion? No, but my Uncle Donnie was. And uh, he used to beat the hell out of me every Sunday morning before church. <laughs> All right, let's see what you got. <laughs> Is that it? Well, she want me to start kicking. Buddy, I'm not gonna lie to you. You might die tonight. Come on, Barry, all I gotta do is stay on my feet for three minutes, what can I do? Well, if the ring's big enough, I'd advise standing three minutes away from the guy. Hey, what's up with the boxing gear? What's up with the tube top? Oh, <laughs> bite me. Okay, look, we gotta get going before she gets in there and tells Trina what I'm doing out here, come on. What, Trina doesn't know about the boxing? No, I was afraid she'd think it was a stupid idea. Well, you want to leave her a note and tell her she was right? Hello? Hey! Oh, hey. How'd the job interviews go? Terrible. Might have gone a little bit better if I'd remembered to spell check my resume. <laughs> oh, honey, I'm sorry. Oh, it's all right. Mm -hmm. it just sucks being broke. Mm -hmm. I'm begging for a job. It's making Ronnie and I get into all these stupid arguments. Like yesterday, he wanted to use our insurance money to buy a new TV. Oh, cool. What kind are you getting? We're not getting one. <laughs> Believe me, I would love to get a new TV for my kids, but we just can't afford it right now. We don't have the money. 
Is that why Rodney's doing this boxing challenge? No, that's some stupid thing that Gerald Bob's doing. Well, then why was Rodney in boxing gear earlier? He what? What's that smell? I'm covered in liniment. Toughens the skin. What do you got in them gloves? Horseshoe magnets. Well, now that's cheating, Gerald Bob. Only if I get caught, all I need is one good punch. Well, officer down. Okay, buddy, now we're up. Now remember, all you gotta do is stay on your feet for three minutes, all right? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Greater Tulsa Amateur Boxing Challenge! Introducing, in this corner, standing at six feet, eight inches tall, weighing 290 pounds! <laughs> I rounded up. is tall, weighing 127 pounds, Jose the Nat Villa! Look at him. He's just a itty-bitty fella. I wouldn't be fooled by his size. He looks scrappy. Yeah, well, I'll let him get in a couple of shots in case his mom and daddy are here. Man, let's see what you got. <laughs> see that, Barry? He call cocked me. Rodney, this is boxing now. The punches should not come as a surprise. <laughs> oh, it's on, little man. Rodney! Trina! What are you doing here? I'm trying to keep you from killing yourself. Just watch out! <laughs> no. I'm in the middle of something. Can we talk later? You get out of there right now. We do not have insurance. Yeah, I'll be okay. <laughs> Buddy, you okay? I just had the craziest dream. I was fighting this little guy, and he knocked me out. Can we finish our tea? I can't believe you risked your life for a television set. I can't believe we finally found a use for lima beans. <laughs> Are you gonna tell me what's going on with you? You know, honey, I don't expect you to understand. Well, I understand that it's about more than a TV set. It is. You know, I can remember when I was a kid after Dad left. I can remember Mom struggling to make ends meet. And I can remember every day at school taking a jelly sandwich to lunch. And all the kids would ask me, they'd say, why, why are you eating the same thing? And I'd say, they're my favorite. And the truth is, that's all we had at the time. I was afraid to let my friends come over because I was afraid they'd find out and I'd be embarrassed just like Jack is right now. Yeah, but honey, kids are resilient. Yeah. Jack is going to forget about this next week. No, he won't. I didn't. You really think that Jack is that embarrassed to not have a TV? Probably not. You know, but he's... His friends are making fun of him. He's canceling his party and that's the part that's killing me and I just I feel responsible. You know what I'm thinking? I say we get the kids insurance and then we take whatever's left over and we'll buy a new TV. You sure? Yeah. We can get insurance for us next month and until then we'll be really careful. And that means no boxing. 
no power tools, and no shower sex. What if I put in a handrail? <laughs> I love you. I love you too. You know, it's not always going to be like this. I know. I'd rather be poor with you than rich with somebody else. <laughs> Me too. I'm kidding. If you don't get your stuff together in five years, I am out of here. <laughs> okay. We'll tell Jack I'll be home later. I love you too. Well, how's the party going? Great. The strippers just left. <laughs> They're watching movies and playing video games. Yeah, glad to hear it. What do you think? Carl says I use Doc Pyle's rump cream. <laughs> nice. And we used all the letters. Well, actually, we got an E left. Hmm. Well, maybe we could just slap it on the end of cream. I think that's the way they spell it over there in France. Yeah. That would be classy. Yes, it would. Pork rind. Don't mind if I did.